Hello and welcome guys, this is Golden Crow with another DirectX programming tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add um, input using DirectX. So uh, I'm going to add the following reference before we start, otherwise this will not work. So go to browse, your local disk, Windows, Microsoft.net, DirectX for Managed Code and the first one which should have 2.0 in the end. Select DirectX, uh, Microsoft DirectX on Direct Input, DLL, click on OK. Then, uh, yeah, first add the reference, I mean, you know, using the using statement, sorry. Using uh, Microsoft dot DirectX dot Direct Input. Right, then go and add it over here. Microsoft dot directx direct input and then the device dot device. And we can call this one keyboard. Right, as you can see over here it's, it's interfering with the direct 3D device, so just go and add this. Just copy this, paste it over here so that it knows we are referring to the direct 3D device over here and then we can start and create our method to initialize the input device Oops. so keyboard was new Dot direct x dot direct input dot device system guide system guide dot keyboard um, then set the corrupter uh, flags you know. keyboard dot set cooperative level uh, the control parent is this. At times it can be left at null. Um, but yeah, crop dot table flags dot um, non exclusive. And then also crop dot label flags dot background. Alright, that's, that's fine. Alright, so let's just copy this. Method. Uh, can <coughs> sorry initialize it off to the direct 3D device over here and then um, yeah we can need an update so we'll go and add a timer uh, you can create a new thread but I'm just going to use a timer Alright, set this to true and set the interval to 1. Double click on timer. We can move the render method to here and then uh, we're going to have to create an update method for the input. Okay, so we can just create it over here. Private void Update input. And then over here you can say for each for each key in keyboard dot get pressed keys. In OVO, you would add your if statements if uh, the key is equal to key dot let's say D, and then whatever you want to add in here. So let's go and add actually, yeah, we'll add the update input method here. Uh, 
the input before we render it. Let me take this away. Um, right, so let's go and add. Uh, should we add another texture? Okay, yeah. Copy this. Through here, change the values texture 2. We'll add another texture called texture 2. So, texture 2 will be equal to another image. I've already added my image too, but it's in P, it's PNG. So, you can add your image. So that's my second image. And uh, you can set the size over here. I'll set mine to 200. 200 width and 200 height. Then the render, we copy it. You just copy this. Do the same over here. Uh, int int uh, x and int y alright so int x equals 0 int y equals 0 uh, I'm just going to pause this right now I'll be backwards alright sorry about that guys so go and create these two ints, x and y, then you go and add them into your render method, x and the y position, x, y, and then you can update them every time a specific key is pushed, in this case it's the d, every time b, d is pushed, x plus equals 2, so it will move two places, um, with x and you can do the same for y. Uh, if S is pushed, Y plus equals 2. Alright, and the size of this image is wrong, so I want to draw it at 200 by 200. And that should work. Oops, mistake. Keyboard.acquire. If I didn't add that, it wouldn't work, so sorry for sorry about that. Alright, so I'll push D and it moves, push S, moves down. So do the same for uh, just say minus equals when you push um, another button, you know. So you can go and do that. So thanks for watching guys. Give this video a like, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.